uh, the song is, of course, um, Ario Speedwagon's Can't Fight This Feeling. It's covered by Dan Smith from the band Bastille. The advert follows a dragon called Edgar, of course he does, and a little girl called Ava, there she is, I bet she's cute, as they celebrate Christmas together. John Lewis and Waitrose say they created the campaign to show the magic of friendship and making loved ones feel special, especially if one of your loved ones is a dragon. With us to discuss it, thank you. you uh, and I know that people at home are shouting at the telling, saying, you are, Mum. Importance of the adverts like these to brands is uh, Rita Clifton. She's a branding guru and former vice chairman at advertising company Saatchi & Saatchi. Hello to you. It's good nice morning. to see you. Good morning, good morning. Why do people connect with Christmas ads so much? Well, it's a really emotional time of year. You know, people get together, they want to share stuff. And of course, um, John Lewis would like them to share their advertising as well. And that's just what people are doing. This yeah. has got all the ingredients, of course, that John Lewis have tried and tested over the years. So I'm sure this one will be popular. It's very merchandisable. It's very cute. It's very emotional. Um, it's very important for retailers at this time of year to get the right sales, or get the right competitive Interesting, because advantage. I mean, they had, they had Elton John last year, didn't they? Um, and, I mean, you couldn't buy a piano in John Lewis. No, but you could buy keyboards. And actually, it was just very emotionally engaging and it was very topical because it was Elton John, there was lots to say about him. They did do other bits of merchandising in store, like T-shirts and vinyl and things like that. I think what's interesting about this year's campaign, it's a bit like going back to the Monty the penguin days and things like that where actually you can do a lot of merchandising in store there's lots of cute stuff to buy it integrates with everything else that they're doing but does it not alienate some um, potential shoppers you know not everybody has a, a lovely christmas time do they even the royals are not all getting together this year i know i know but in some ways i think people need a bit of an antidote to what's going on i mean that's the other thing about christmas it is emotional it is intense and in some ways it's a bit of escapism too so you can reflect reality but frankly people get a lot of reality in day-to-day -day news christmas is a very special time and frankly it's a very special time for business and for retailers as well because for many retailers something like 20%, sometimes going up to 30% of their annual sales goes through at Christmas time. So That's if they amazing. don't have a good Christmas, they don't have a good year. And mm. frankly, that wouldn't be great for any of us. Other Christmas ads are available. Um, <laughs> how did it get so competitive? Well, again, you know, when you're thinking about how much of your sales is going to happen at Christmas, uh, uh, that means that you've really, really got, your, got to get your act together. Now, if you haven't done some sort of brand building, some sort of profile building up, up until Christmas, then actually it's not likely to work so well no matter what you say at Christmas time. The great thing about John Lewis, and indeed actually any of the other big competitors, whether it's the big supermarkets or Marks and Spencer, they've done another couple of big productions this year, you need to build up to Christmas. Actually, by the time you get there, you've engaged your customers. What John Lewis does so well, of course, it tra you know, trails, it teases, it engages, it shares, then it launches, and then, of course, people comment, and then they share the ads and so on. So okay. you've got a truly engaged audience who already loved your brand, and now, of course, you need them to buy quite a lot of your products to keep the business well going round. Have you done your Christmas shopping yet? I have not, have you? Yeah. I'm very glad to yeah. hear. I always finish mine by the end of September. <laughs> Well, I'm not Because my birthday is the week before Christmas. I'm, I, I say that every week, just in case, because it's not long away now. Um, and so I want to celebrate my birthday at Christmas time. And there's so many other people in the same position. I've got lots of friends who are 13, 14, 15th of December. And, um, you know, we, we want to enjoy our birthdays. Well, you can always do the whole Black Friday thing, can't you, as we well? We could, so, we could, but I've yeah. already done it, so it's too late. You've done it, that feels a bit <laughs> smug. <laughs> yes, there we are. Yeah, OK, need to get on to it. Yeah. Good to talk to you, come back soon. Thank Thanks you. very much, Thanks. indeed. You're watching Kay Burley at breakfast. Quick look at the weather for you this morning.